In APA, the type of source determines what the reference entry will look like. This video will go over how to cite some common source types using APA format. There are a few things to note about APA that remain consistent for all source types. First names aren't used, but initials are included on the reference page. Also, the date has to be included on both the reference page as well as in the in-text citations. It is important to locate this for each source you use. Additionally, the way something looks on the reference page is not always the way it looks within the paper. We will talk more about that later. There are a few basic things to look for when creating the APA citation. The first one of those is the author. All reference entries begin with the author's last name, followed by a comma, and then the author's first and middle initials. If there is more than one author, separate the names with commas and use an ampersand before the last name. If the source you are using has no author, then you begin the citation with the title. The second important component of an APA citation is the date. This is when the work was published. If looking in a book, this is the copyright date, which is usually located near the title page. Whether your source begins with the author or there is no author and it must start with the title, the date will always be the second item in the citation. When finding sources on NC Live, look at the top of the page where the other publication information is found. If on a website, look for the date updated or created. Use the most recent date you find. Or, if you cannot find that, look for the date beside the copyright C. That is usually located at the bottom of the web page. APA is very concerned with when a source is published, so always find a date for your sources. The next important component for an APA reference page is the title. The title of the source in the reference page will look different than if you cite it within your paper. Article titles, chapter titles, and titles of web pages will not have their usual quotation marks on the reference page. Titles of sources also have only the first word of the title capitalized and the first word capitalized of any subheading you may have. Any proper nouns will remain capitalized. After you've listed the source title, you might have to list the title of the container that source is found in. If you need to include titles of books, journals, films, newspapers, websites, or databases on the reference page, then they must be italicized and all major words capitalized. The final major component of an APA reference entry is the publication information. If you are using a printed source, this will be the publishing company. If you are using a web source, it will be the URL. If your source has a DOI, or digital object identifier, then just write the DOI as if it were a URL as shown in the example. Always use the DOI if a source has one. Let's take a look at three common types of sources. A book, a web page, and an article from NC Live and see how these individual components make up a reference entry. Most of the time, when citing a book, all four of the common components will be easily found. So with this example, I'm going to cite Alan C. Stover as the author. Remember to write the author's last name, followed by a comma, and their initials. A look inside the book shows me that the copyright date is 2014. I put that date in parentheses, followed by a period. Next, I write the title of the book. Since this is a book title, I will write it in italics. Remember that only the first word of the book title and the first word of the subtitle are capitalized. Since the word Americans is a proper noun, I must capitalize it as well. Next is the publication information. This book was published by McFarland & Company, Inc. Now that I have gathered all of the necessary information, my completed reference entry looks like this. Sometimes, when citing a web page, the reference entry components are not as easily found. 
In this example, after I looked at the entire page, I realized there is no author attributed for this work. If there is no author, then we start with the title. Since this is a title of a web page, I only capitalize the first word of the title and the proper noun, Africa. Also, since this is the title of a web page and not an entire website, I will not italicize the title. It is fortunate that the date is listed directly underneath the picture for this web page. In some instances, no date is listed in plain sight. If that is the case for the web page you are looking at, scroll to the bottom and find the date created, updated, or the copyright date. Use the most recent date you find. The date is written in parentheses with the year first, a comma, and then the month and day. The publication information for a web page is just where the web page can be found. Simply copy and paste the URL where the web page can be found. Once you have the URL where it should be, if you have time, copy and paste the same URL back to a browser and test that it takes you directly to your source. NC Live is an excellent way to find research and sources for a paper. One of the most useful sources you can find there is the journal article. These can be a little trickier to cite on a reference page, so be very thorough in collecting your source information. First, look for the authors. Remember to list the last name first and only use the initials for the first and middle names. Don't forget to use an ampersand instead of the word and. After you've listed the authors, you can add the date in the year, month, day format. After that, I'll list the title of the article. I won't use quotation marks for this title on the reference page. Remember to only capitalize the first words of the title and subtitle and any proper nouns. Also, notice that though this title uses a hyphen, if my source has a subtitle, I separate it from the main title with a colon. Once I've done the article title, I list the title of the journal that published the article. This will go in italics and have normal title capitalization of all major words. Next, I'll give the volume number in italics, and then without adding a space, I add the issue number in parentheses. After that, you'll give the page numbers. Sometimes these will be difficult to find. If the source has a PDF version, look there and see if they are listed in the corners of the pages shown. This source does not have a DOI. So the last thing to add is the URL, just like we did for the web page example. Simply cut and paste it from the address bar and check to make sure the link works if you have time. If my source had a DOI, I would have included it instead of the URL, but in a similar format. Here is an example of what it would look like. It will always start with the HTTPS colon backslash backslash doi.org backslash and then be followed by a unique combination of numbers and letters often starting with a 10. A few final comments about APA. The reference page should always begin on a new page following the paper but not in a separate document. The word reference should be centered at the top of the page. If you are using more than one source on the reference page, then the word reference is plural. Finally, all entries should be put into alphabetical order based on the first component of the reference entry. The sources are not listed in the order in which you use them in your paper.